In the equipment sequence of the U.S. Army, the RC-12 series intelligence aircraft is a relatively low-key equipment, rarely seen in the news media or in movies and TV shows. This type of aircraft has no weapons, and its appearance looks like a typical business aircraft from a distance. The RC-12 series intelligence aircraft entered service in the 1970s, and the entire series was modified from a general-purpose aircraft with twin turboprop engines. The earliest version was based on the Beechcraft King Air 90, which the U.S. Army called the U-21. This type of aircraft has an empty weight of about 3,150 kilograms, a crew of one to two people, and can carry up to seven people. The U.S. military uses it for personnel transport and liaison missions. The modification work is not difficult. It mainly involves installing the equipment required for intelligence reconnaissance inside the aircraft, as well as installing necessary antennas and other equipment on the fuselage and wings. This type of aircraft does not require high speed and does not need modification to its power system. For example, the earlier RC-12D model is equipped with Communication Interception and Direction Finding Systems, ANTSQ-105 V.4 Integrated Processing Equipment, ANTSC-87 Tactical Command Terminal, and other systems required for flight. Functionally, it is a more affordable tactical intelligence reconnaissance aircraft that can serve as a supplement to large strategic reconnaissance aircraft. It is suitable for deployment at overseas bases and can also be used for daily patrols, counter-terrorism operations, and other tasks. It is a relatively inexpensive piece of equipment. In the U.S. military, it is mainly used by the U.S. Army's intelligence units and is deployed to bases in Germany, South Korea, and other countries overseas, such as the Humphreys Garrison Base near Seoul. It can conduct intelligence gathering at a cruising speed of about 500 kilometers per hour centered around the base, posing a potential threat to the host country and neighboring countries' regions. Over decades of use, the U.S. has been continuously improving the functionality of the RC-12 series aircraft, building multiple models such as RC-12DGHKPQ. The RC-12D is a modified version of the C-12D aircraft, and subsequent models have added weight, mainly in the form of new special electronic mission equipment. The P model can be equipped with a mission pod as needed and also has data link functionality, with a maximum takeoff weight increase to about 7,500 kilograms. The latest model is the RC-12X, developed around 2010, with Northrop Grumman winning the $462 million project. The new aircraft was actually deployed for testing around 2011-2012. The RC-12X has enhanced intelligence collection capabilities, able to collect low, medium, and high-frequency radio signals and ELINT signals. The onboard equipment can identify and classify signals and determine the source location through a positioning system. Its presence makes conventional communication almost transparent, and the military value of this is self-evident. The RC-12 series intelligence aircraft has a low purchase and operating cost, high operational efficiency, good interoperability with other aircraft, and low logistical burden. While the strategic deterrent value of this aircraft seems low and does not easily provoke strong opposition from other countries like systems such as THAAD, the U.S. plans to upgrade the old RC-12 models to the X model in the next few years, allowing them to continue in service until around 2025.